So when we started talking about the idea of uh, creating content for the pursuit of inspiration, uh, we thought, well, there's no real better place to start all this off than California. It's a place that I've come to for years, just seeking inspiration. It's always been inspiring every time I've come here. And when Drew Harper heard that I was coming out, he offered to take a sailing. So this is uh, early Monday morning, and, uh, and Drew is taking us for a sailing trip around the bay uh, in San Francisco. So this is going to be an absolutely awesome day, and I just cannot imagine a better way to start in the pursuit of inspiration in California. I think we have about 10 guitars on board today and uh, we've got Drew's entire band and uh, they brought their guitars along. We're going to get some tunes. We've got Nate Lopez here, he's brought his 8-string. We're going to get some tunes from him and uh, we've got a few other Emerald customers and friends that, are, that have joined us in this great trip today. So this is going to be a very musical journey, musical sailing trip, so thanks for coming along. This is guitar number 10. 10. Wow. <laughs> I think this may be the coolest spot that I've ever got to deliver a guitar. And um, so we come out here with this intent to film content for the pursuit of inspiration. And, uh, and you just asked me about what is it like to, uh, to see people enjoying all their guitars. And this is the most inspiring thing, you know, you come out here and people are enjoying the guitars and we're out in the ocean and it's what it's all about. And uh, so this is the last guitar that, or the most recent guitar, I guess we we'll call it. Because it'll not be the last. <laughs> so there we go. Oh my oh. God. Oh. Now we're not going to see you for a long time. <laughs> so uh, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, it's, uh, it's actually Redwood Burl. Wow. wow. So this is a, a lo local piece. tree here to the Bay Area. Nylon string. That's so oh, let's take that out of there. That is so beautiful. Oh, yeah, that weave. Yeah, that weave is beautiful. That's perfect. Catches the light so well. Good lord. Yeah, Kevin actually sent me. Uh, he said, You're going to have to see this. And he sent it to me, and I said, Oh, you are just killing me. You are killing me here. God, that looks so bad. Yeah, that it's like a face I love how right the yellow the, uh, edges center. just pop. Yeah, the vibrant oh, was a great God. call on it. That is stunning. You know, it's amazing, Alistair. I, I did start off, it's probably 10 years ago with an X7. And uh, this boat has actually helped me pay for 10 guitars. And <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you get 10 guitars, but I'll eventually buy a boat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Keep selling the guitars, you get a boat. So thank you very much. It's, uh, uh, this these instruments have actually inspired me to do a lot of things. I bought a I bought a lap steel. I never played lap steel before, so now I'm playing lap steel all the time. I bought a Synergy uke. I was never a ukulele player. <laughs> That's happening, and I I, I have my Amicus here today. To uh, and and that, as my band knows, is, is a regular fixture in our newfound countryside. <laughs> so uh, this will this is a this is a real treasure. Play it. Play it. Play it. Yeah. My life is a change. Say goodbye to yesterday. The new day has come, and I see bright horizon, bitten gold, and a thing that won't rise with the sun. Well, we were, uh, we were talking, uh, a few of us here, that have had travel guitars. I mean, anybody who's a guitarist has tried to take their guitar places. And uh, I've had 
little Martins and little Taylors and I've had all the tools so when you get the tailor to where you're going you're adjusting the neck and trying to get the thing trued back up and that's how I ended up because I've sailed all over the world and traveled all over the world sailing and, and I wanted a guitar that I could just pull out of the case and play um, and that's what led me to the X7 Shadow of another man that I used to be by my path. That's the best thing for me at the X7. You pull it out and it's ready to go. So my X7, we were talking the other day, probably has a quarter of a million miles on between flying and sailing. It's just been, it literally, every, these guys know everywhere I go, it's, you know, it's either in my boat, and in, in the plane, or in, in my car. funny this whole thing is about inspiration but I play you know I played guitar since I was five and I play now more than I ever did and guitar is just it's been my soothing mechanism my Zen for my whole I graduated with a degree and a grad degree in music and and uh, and guitar has just been you know it's been it for me and these guitars have become a huge well obviously a huge part of my life all the not just the guitars but all the instruments you're building so so thank you very much oh, well, i thank really you. appreciate it well, thanks not, for building not this not only are they stable but they're damn pretty yeah 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 they are not they are not ugly they're not hard to look at i mean holy crap It's all about the pursuit of inspiration and it's the things that inspire me the most are music the musicians and the reactions of people towards the work that we do you know it just it's such it inspires me to make the guitars and then the guitars in turn inspire inspire the people that inspire me to make the guitars it's just it keeps that continual feedback it's loop a synergy yeah. it does <laughs> it's, it's it's so cool
What inspires you? Yeah, you know, I have to say that for the last 30 some years, my primary inspiration has been the culture of Hawaii. And so there'd been a, a number of guitars that came into my life that helped facilitate that. And this Emerald X20 has been really special in that because, you know, I do have a really nice vintage wood guitar that I still record with, but I'm not taking it anywhere. And this guitar, I can take anywhere. I've taken it to Hawaii. You know, there's been a few times when I've had the opportunity to go with uh, hula groups, traditional hula groups from the mainland who were competing in Hawaii, and they brought me along to play with them there. And so to be able to take this and know I'm not going to have any problems with this, it's going to plug in and sound beautiful, it's going to be acoustic and sound beautiful, it's not going to change tuning, it's not going to be destroyed by the humidity yeah. and the weather. And so to have a guitar that I really bond with that is really impervious is just a great thing. Guys, give me that guitar. If I had your love, I could never be poor, cause it's priceless, like this music. Wait a minute, get into it now. I'm Speaking real, now I tell you what I feel. Love will love you right, even when you're wrong. So about love, I will write a song. And so the melody goes on, and that's my love song. One of my friends who's a guitarist introduced me to Emerald and he brought this incredible guitar out of this case. I said, what is this? He goes, it's Emerald guitar, it's carbon fiber. And I instantly knew that this would be like a very rigid, less likely to go out of tune type of instrument. It sounded wonderful, it looked gorgeous. And so I became involuntarily hooked. So, uh, and of course, uh, one of the other guitarists in the band said, oh, that's great, and he got one. And then he, the first guy, Drew, uh, he said, well, I can't help you done. So he went up and bought an, uh, what do you call it? An Amicus. An Amicus, he has an X7, uh, X20. What did you give him today, the new? X20 Nidal. X20. So he's got a whole music store of equipment, so I'm definitely uh, looking forward to getting mine. So uh, very excited about it. Well, we had an awesome day today. You pumped? Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> this was just a blast. Uh, first of all, great musicians are hanging around these guitars, so it was fun for me to just kind of slip in there and hopefully didn't get too noticed. <laughs> yeah, it was a cool day. Uh, thank thank you. You. Uh, thanks for the vocals. Oh, my pleasure. My um, pleasure. Yeah. Great, what a great voice. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Well, anytime. I, it's a great opportunity, and uh, I. I'm very excited about the future of your company because as more people hear about it and they touch it, listen, play, it's a no-brainer to get one. I mean, it's just an absolute phenomenal instrument. Well, so, thank you. Thank you. We'll see you back in Ireland. All right. Pleasure. So, uh, so that's the end of the first day, and uh, I mean, what an incredible day it's been! 
in San Francisco. Um, we came here with this idea to go in the pursuit of inspiration and um, I suppose we didn't really know exactly what we were going to find. Um, except, you know, I knew that San Francisco was a place that I, I've got a lot of good friends. Uh, I've got some, some really great customers here uh, that are more, more than customers, they're, they're family. And uh, when we just all got together today on a sailboat, and then today, this evening in, this, uh, in the hotel, it's just been such a buzz. Um, I think I realized just how much I've been missing just being around people. Getting to see the, the look on someone's face when you show them a guitar for the very first time. Um, you know, to see Drew's face when we were able to present that beautiful guitar to him. And, uh, and hear the stories from the guys about why they love what we do. Um, and ultimately that's what inspires us to keep on doing what we're doing. So, I mean, just incredible start to our Pacific Coast Highway trip. Uh, tomorrow we're off to Santa Cruz and uh, it's going to be another great day. So, thanks for coming along for the journey.